Kaushik is with us as well and so is Suhas Chakma. Kaushik, coming to you first, case in point, Sikkim, very different from the other states in the northeastern part of the country, especially, let's talk about Arunachal in comparison with Sikkim. I mean, Sikkim is rejecting the Bharatiya Janta Party, which in fact has had to break off the alliance with the SKM. Issues of, you know, the special status of Sikkim seems to be in fact playing in the minds of the of the voters here, the indigenous population, who have their faith on the regional parties, isn't it? And that, in fact, is speaking, is, is, is writ large as far as the early trends are concerned. As I mentioned uh, earlier also, that uh, in, in Sikkim, the BJP couldn't get the right leaders and mm. they, they couldn't get the combinations right. Uh, like you can see in uh, Mizoram, uh, despite all its uh, effort, uh, it hasn't been able to make any headway. Mm -hmm. Or in Meghalaya, your home state, the BJP mm -hmm. has been trying to uh, gain space over there and using all resources, uh, all possible combinations, but uh, mm -hmm. the local teams, the local parties, they are strong enough and now another new uh, local party, it's coming up. So same way in Sikkim, the SDF rule ended and the SKM rule has become mm -hmm. and uh, people are not that fancied with the uh, idea of BJP because uh, you would understand better that uh, BJP is not an organic party mm -hmm. in the northeastern region. And when that happens, if you do not get the right candidate, uh, the popular leader in your cadre, in your uh, bench strength, then uh, probably it's very difficult for you to gain ground in, in a space which is not organically yours, uh, as you can see in the mm -hmm. south or in the east, I mean, uh, the north is. So uh, the BJP will have to again wait if it can uh, probably put some good leaders or build uh, uh, good leaders among its cadres, uh, maybe in five years down the line, because uh, the, the BJP, the RSS is present in all the northeastern states for long, yes. but uh, it hasn't been able to build that uh, bench strength in BJP. Mm -hmm. So you know, uh, we'll have to wait for BJP to gain currency in these states. Yeah. I'm yeah. also very curious, and I'll put this to Suhas. Suhas, the SDF and, and the story of the SDF, these elections has been from 15 seats. And of course, they're waiting for the results, but they're leading only in one seat as of now. What has really happened when it comes to the SDF? You know, why this downslide? Why this huge downslide? Well, I think apart from not being acceptable, when you are a regional political party, mm -hmm. I think one of the key factors is access to resources. And once you have been out of power for, say, about five years, mm -hmm. uh, then obviously, you know, you cannot generate enough resources. And that's why I think the national political parties like BJP have been able to make inroads but in other northeastern states because they are able to provide substantial financial support. Mm -hmm. So... If you look at Sikkim, and one of the reasons why SDF, you know, despite being in power for about 15 years, not being able to even, uh, you know, I mean, give a mm -hmm. contest, give a fight to, uh, to the SKM, mm -hmm. it's because of the fact that I think they do not have access to resources. And sitting MLS, in the absence of opposition from the BJP, which is the only resourceful party in, say, in the country, mm -hmm. so they do not have access to resources. And that's why I, th I think also, if you look at it, you know, I mean, uh, anywhere in the Northeast, uh, the Congress, if you look at it, in Arunachal Pradesh, has not been able to finance or provide support to its own candidates. And if you look at the Arunachal Pradesh election, despite being such, a, in such an important state, none of the senior leaders of the Congress party, including Rahul Gandhi, had visited this state once. Mm. So you could imagine that, you know, Congress had already given up the power mm. in Arunachal Pradesh because it was suffering from resource crunch and it was spending money somewhere else. So I think one of the key factors, uh, till people become, you know, I mean, very angry with the uh, scam government, you know, anti-incumbency factors come up. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult for any other party, you know, to contest there. Very difficult. In fact, if you've given up on the state like Sikkim is what Suhas Chakma is telling us, Subir, what are your thoughts? National Party has almost given up in the state, this, as far as the state of Sikkim here is concerned. The Congress has given up and the BJP, uh, of course, in alliance with the SKM, broke off the alliance, or rather the SKM broke off from the Bharatiya Janta Party. Things would have been very different, you believe, had the SKM and, and had the BJP uh, continued to be in an alliance. The outcome would have been very different, Subir. 
since its merger with the Indian Union, you will see that Sikkim has been dominated by a few personalities, hmm. starting off with, you know, Bibi Gurung, then Narvadur Bhandari, hmm. quite a long tenure, but when it falls off, completely falls off. In comes Pawan Chamli. And then right. he has, so Sikkim, in Sikkim, it's always been regional parties, and these regional heavyweights have been subjected to the usual law of diminishing return. You know, so this has happened with Narvadur Bandari. I've been watching Sikkim since the days of Narvadur Bandari. I know all these people personally. As well as my friend Baiju Bhutia is concerned, we share, he's a great footballer. We all right. play football. He does not realize that in football, the goalpost is stable. You shoot at a fixed goalpost. In politics, the goalpost shift. So like the trap shooter, he has to develop a special ability mm. to make any impact in Sikkim politics. He should be able to shoot at moving goalposts rather than stable static goalposts. Okay. My good advice to my friend Baichun. But here, let's come back to the core point. You know, is that when have national parties done well in Sikkim since it became a part of the Indian Union? Mm. You know, Narvadur Bhandari, Pawan Chamli, and now Prem Singh Tawang, Tamang, they are all regional politicians. They will go in with a Sikkim banner, Kranti Kari Morcha, Sikkim Democratic Front. So Congress, you know, what they would do is sometimes get their support. You know, the lone MP there supports the Congress when Narsimha Rao is in trouble, is trying to save his government. Right. Same will be the case with BJP. So national parties, you know, these few guys to discuss why national parties are not doing this, they've never done it. Hmm. It's always been the regional heavyweight, and these regional heavyweights have been subjected to the law of diminishing returns. Right. So 10, okay. 12 years, Bhandari Saab ka dada gini. Okay. You know, 10, 15 years, Chamling Saab ka dada gini. I mean, Prem Singh ka ini shuru hua hai, and he's going to be around until a new heavyweight, some other chap turns up from somewhere. Right. Sikkim Krantikari Mocha, poised for a comeback in Sikkim is what the early trends have indicated. But the STF is in fact leading in just one seat and that is a story that we are keeping a very, very close eye on.